Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition. I uh, just finished doing my business from the end of the last episode, and um, I'm stuck in the bathroom. Uh, so today, we have a couple of things on the agenda. One thing uh, that has been on my mind for a while now, every single time I go mining, I always kind of regret that this thing doesn't have tank steering. And I've collected enough batteries over the time that I've been nomading my way around that uh, I think I don't really need to worry about battery consumption that much. So I'm gonna convert this thing into a tank steering electric mining vehicle. And we're gonna see if, like I suspect, is it actually better than the four wheel steering system that I have right now. So we're gonna do a test we're going to mine some rocks with it as it is now so we can compare that performance directly with how it does when it's tank steering. And hopefully by making this thing tank steering, I'm not going to have too many issues with converting it. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is um, there's another place on this map that I've never found yet, and that is the water treatment plant. I'm actually really surprised that I've never found it considering how much how much of the map I covered looking for this hay maze in the first place. And by the way, speaking of mazes, um, thank you guys all for the support on Caterinth. Absolutely amazing. One of the best weekends of my life, just getting that music out there. And the support has been more than I ever imagined. So thank you all so much for that. And uh, I can't wait to release more music on that channel, but it, it's going to take a while. So stay tuned if you're a fan. And then there's one more thing on the agenda, and that is um, make the bathroom look a little bit better. And the way I'm going to do that is by making it a little bit less of a box, adding a little bit of a trim on the top like this. And that way it looks more like an outhouse and not just a, a note box. Already, I think that makes it look so much better. You know, what if it's two? Does two make it look even better? Yeah, maybe we can do this and then I can th with the two by two like this It'll actually make uh, it'll make room for the lighting those ambient lights that we have All right, let's paint this part actually black. There we go. That looks pretty good And then we got some more excess ambient lights around here. Oh, of course we do We'll put one right there and one right there so wait, does that? No, that does not interfere. All right, as long as it doesn't interfere, we are good. Paint those white, make them bright. All right, now I just added a little bit of style. It would have been a lot easier if I just had wedges. It would look so much more professional if there were wedges up there, but uh, you know, we, we got to deal with what we got to deal with. Okay, so let's get to the water treatment plant first, and then we'll look for some rocks to mine near the water treatment plant before converting to uh, batteries. Oh my goodness, the cows have multiplied. There were eight cows last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They seem to like just start appearing sometimes. Okay, so uh, time to find the water treatment plant. Wish me luck. There we go. All right, well, that didn't take very long at all. It's, uh, it's right there up ahead. So I guess the water treatment plant is where those landing pad pillars are. Oh yeah, I do remember, I remember the last series actually. One of the iconic moments from the previous survival series is when I flew my flyer over to the water treatment plant and tried to land on that landing pad there um, when I was experimenting with dropping bombs and it didn't go well. We have an actual landing, there's loot on the landing pad. But it definitely made for an awesome clip, and I don't- oh no. Uh oh, I- okay, that was weird timing. As soon as I was about to hit that, I started dying of hunger. Alright, come on. There we go. So, um, one downside to this bathroom. I would have been probably just, uh, just short enough to make it through here if it wasn't for the bathroom. But I'm sure there's another way inside that doesn't involve an overhang like that. Oh, can I get under this? The plant is gonna mess me up now, isn't it? Dang it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the Hank tank is too big. Oh, here we go, here we go. I see another way. There is another way. Determination will always find a way. Or just just use the just use the grass along the outside. That'll help too. Alright, so we can definitely how's my ammo doing? My ammo gauge is full. We can definitely get ourselves another boss here. Oh, you know what? Before we uh attack the boss, actually. Let's go ahead. Are these stuck again? They're not stuck again. 
Let's um, raise my guns. Because these things were a little bit too low for the bosses. So let's, I mean, by bosses, I mean, I mean, they're not really bosses, are they anymore? They were the bosses before we got the teasers from chapter two. But now they're just beefy farm bots. All right, I hope I hooked the right logic gates up to that. I think we're all set. Oh, I didn't even realize they're in the top section now. I guess that's all right. It actually fits perfectly to not interfere with my walking ability here. All right, it's getting kind of dark. Uh, let's hurry up and get in here and kill this farm bot. <laughs> I really, really hope that my weapons work. They're untested right now, but there he is. There's a farm bot. Can I kill him before he gets to me? Because if I back up this bridge, I'm not going to be aiming at him anymore. Okay, here we go. It's easiest aim from here. Can I shoot him? Oh, no. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to hook these up to the ammo container. It would really help if they had ammo. <laughs> oh no, he's coming after me now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> literally the last shot that I was able to aim at him before I ended up pointing towards the ground. That was amazing. And we're gonna get a hold. This is a great place to get um, circuit boards because it's just surrounded by the little greenies and they're like a guarantee circuit board drop. All right, let's see if I can pick up this warehouse key. I think I've actually already picked up the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, oh, it just picked those up. Did you see that? I already picked up the component kits dropped by them. All right, come on, pick that one up. There we go. All right, it turns green. That's really good to know. It turns green when it's actually starting to pick something up. It flashes red and blue otherwise. And if it turns green, oh, oh, not quite. There we go. Yeah, it actually has to be there for like a second for it to end up picking it up. Okay, so what do we have for loot here? I just, I can't drive around here. It's just, I'm just too tall. The bathroom makes me too tall. I didn't even see how many component kits the farm bot dropped. I just picked them up with my vacuum pipe. You know what, there's probably a decent amount of component kits. Maybe not a decent amount, but maybe an amount of component kits just sitting in here. Six component kits I've picked up with my in-host pipes so far. What about this one right here? And five over here. Not bad. A ton of circuit boards as well. All right, let's explore this place for loot. And then I got to look around and find some uh, some stone to mine. Ooh, a gold chest. Oh, finally. The whole scrap city. And I was unable to get a rare garment box. And then I come to the water treatment plant and I get my first rare garment box from a chest. So we can go ahead and uh, open that up with our dress bot as well. Yeah, that was, it was just hiding right behind that uh, container. This is a good loot area. This is a really nice, I like this. All right, while I'm looting the rest of this place, let's go ahead and get the cotton out of here. And does that give me enough? Yep, more than enough. All right, and then I'll go continue loot looting while that is uh, being made in the garment, in the dress bot. You know what I'm just realizing? This launch pad has been used to launch something. Like, these are not, like, explosion marks. These are rocket burns. A rocket has clearly launched from here. So I wonder if, um, if this is really, if that's our goal is to create, is to build a rocket that ends up launching from a launch pad like this, or if this is actually, uh, some type of evidence of the people who were here before us. Maybe the farmers have tried to launch from the water treatment plant. And why is the, why is the water treatment plant also the rocket launch place? <laughs> All right, I think I pretty much finished looting, so let's check out this new garment that we have. Ready? And... Ooh, a delivery hat? All right, let's check this out. Delivery hat, huh? Delivery hat. Do I have other delivery stuff? I don't have a delivery jacket. Oh, there we go. There's delivery gloves. There's delivery pants. And there's delivery shoes. And there's delivery backpack. So I have everything delivery except for the torso, apparently. All right, so now the sun is rising. We succeeded in finding the water treatment plant. It was really successful loot-wise. And now let's find some rocks to mine. Let's test out our gasp. Oh, there, there's more chests. I forgot that there's like a, a drainage area that has loot in it. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even ragdoll. I thought I was going to ragdoll there. Here, let's, uh, let's get a drink real quick. Okay, all good. I'm satisfied. All right, well, anyway, back to the task at hand. We need to find stone. Oh, here we go. We got some stone out here by the warehouse. Hopefully no uh, tape bots will be able to see me over here. But this looks like a decent spot to test it out. All right, here we go. So for the first time in a long time, let's disconnect this. Should fall down. It, it should. 
should fall down. Perfect, just like that. So, um, the thing with this is I really think, I've always felt like tank steering would be better, but I just didn't want to use the, uh, the batteries because I didn't, I wasn't confident I'd be able to keep making batteries enough. All right, so we got two small stone things here and one large one. So let's use the small ones as testing sites. Let's see how this one feels. My vehicle's on a lift, right? Yes, it is. That way I'll get optimal mining frame rates. All right, so you see like this one, it's just, the turning is always just a little bit awkward. I mean, we still do fine as far as the drills go. I'm not worried about the drill. I'm worried about the uh, maneuverability as we try to, like, especially when it comes to this stuff right here. Like I'm trying to turn to the left, but because of the hill, the mound, it keeps pushing me off to the side and my wheels just, they don't turn me in place very well, which is exactly what tank steering excels at. But does the friction of the wheels, does that help enough to uh, make tank steering ideal? So I guess we'll find out. But as you can see, it didn't take very long at all to get all of these stones down here. I should have brought one of my um, resource collectors with me off of my, off of the hang tank. But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to leave this part relatively uncut so you have a full scope of exactly how long and how much of a task this was. Like, yeah, like see like that stuff right there, I just feel like tank steering would resolve those kind of issues a lot where I'm just drifting sideways a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not gonna make much of a difference, but it's a test that I think is worth exploring in this series before it ends. All right, last couple of rocks here. And that should do it. Okay, I don't know how long that took, but they're not the same size nodes anyway, so it's not really fair to compare them like that based off of time. I think it's just based, it's based off of feel. How does it feel? Does it feel easier or not? All right, so let's get one of our resource collectors, and I wonder if we're gonna be able to fit all of this in, probably not. We're probably not gonna be able to fit all of it in one resource collector, but let's see how much we can fit here. Oh, look at that. I think we actually got all of it in a single resource collector. Not bad. All right, we can put this back where we found it. And now it is time to convert this to an electric engine, which I think I already have an electric engine. And now with all these component kits that I've gotten, I should be able to upgrade it to a level five. All right, where is this electric engine? This is a thing. I don't even know what level it is. It doesn't tell me unless I'm out of, of invent box inventory. Do I have another electric engine? I thought I had a level three. Oh, yeah, this one's... Nope, they're the same level. Okay, what is it? Yeah, it is a level three, so I can definitely upgrade that, pretty sure. All right, upgrade, and I need two more. Two more. Not to be confused with tumor. There we go. Level five electric engine achieved, and I have bearings on me because we're going to have to do double bearings. If oh, no. I just remembered that tank steering requires four electric engines. Why did I think it was only going to require one? Oh, boy. Well, we do have another level three. Where are we gonna put four electric engines on this thing? No, we could we could fit it. Yeah, I think we could fit four electric engines on this, but ah, I did, I did not. Why did I think it was only gonna take one electric engine? I don't think I was prepared for this. All right, what does it take to make an electric engine? Okay, I have the resources. I know I could technically do it with less than four electric engines, but to have like the optimal controllability with my button set up, uh, four is just gonna make it so much easier to control. And that is why I'm doing this, is to have an easier controllable mining vehicle that's just gonna make everything faster. So I'm gonna go for optimal controllability. And I I don't think I'm gonna be able to upgrade these engines. We might have to do some um, uh, loot runs to get some more component kits. Ooh, I forgot. I'm also going to need a battery container. There we go. Battery container. Oh, thank you for having... Oh, I needed paint ammo for that too. All right. Thank you for having enough uh, without having me go to do something stupid like clam things. All right. We got all the engines. Let's see how far we can get with the upgrading here. I'm going to start with the highest one. We're going to upgrade this to max. There we go. We got two level fives. How much can we do for this one? Okay. And now I'm out of component kits. I've got five left, which means I could probably do that one. All right, so now I got a level three and a level two, and I don't know how many component kits I need. Probably a decent amount. All right, so let's put this thing back on here, and there's some places to loot around here. We'll go ahead and focus on that. How many do I now have? I needed 28, and I now have 10, 20, 30. 
That is what I'm talking about. We can now make ourselves a tank steering vehicle. Can I find my way back to uh, where I was doing that experiment, though? Where's my... There it is. All right, toilet dive time. Wee! Wee! <laughs> the roll was pretty funny. All right, let me just make sure I was correct in my assessment here. So we should be able to max this out. Good. And we should be able to max this out. Good, and that leaves us with three to spare. Excuse you, excuse, I knew you were coming. I knew it. All right, so now we can create a full tank steering, fully controllable uh, mining vehicle. All right, here we are, I found our way back. Yep, yep, this is the spot. Okay, so because of the way I weld my mining vehicle, it uh, goes on the lift like this, unfortunately, but we should still be able to take care of it. Um, I'm gonna need pipe pieces, those thin pipe pieces. I think I still have some somewhere. Oh yeah, the revival baguette. So for the revival baguette, how cool would it be to just have it sitting up here? There we go, just right up on the dashboard. Yeah, you get hungry, grab the revival baguette. All right, now for the electric vehicle. So we're not gonna need that engine anymore. Um, I guess I can put, I can put, I can probably build it like right into here. I'm gonna have to detach the wheels anyway, so I might as well just do this. Put another one right there. Pick these parts up. All right, and then I'll stick the other ones right there. And what is it, only three? Oh, there's only three. Right there and right there. That looks good. You know what? I kind of want to move these up just a little bit. This so that just so that we can have uh, one layer of protection at least at the back behind them. That concrete back behind it like that. There we go. And then I no longer need the fuel canister because I'm gonna be using electric batteries. All right, there we go. This is like one of my first time actually needing a battery container. So for the tank steering, we're gonna have to make sure that we double bearing up um, our wheels. We do bearing, pipe, bearing, and then wheel just like that. Actually, it is going to keep the pro. Yeah, this is going to actually reduce the profile of our vehicle a little bit, which I might not want. I want to keep it the same dimensions. So we'll just have it sticking out like this. There we go. All right, there we go. Wheels are attached, and I just remembered I need logic gates. Ooh, do I have enough material for logic gates? I need four logic gates, I think. <sighs> One, two, three, four. It's kind of close, but I do have enough. All right, so this is actually going to be a buttoned controlled vehicle. So I guess I'll put one, two, three, four. And then I will put the logic gates right here. So the way that the logic gates work is you just have one logic gate going to each engine. And one of these engines is going to be responsible for forward on the right side. One of them is gonna be responsible for forward on the left side. One of them is going to be responsible for backwards on the left side, and one of them is responsible for backwards on the right side, just like that. Number one is going to go forward, so you trigger the forward engines with the logic gates that are hook up, hooked up into them. Two is to go backwards, so you trigger the backwards engine. Three is to go left, so you want the right forward and back leftwards. <laughs> left backwards. And then four is to go right, so you want the left forward and right backwards. So now we should have a full on tank steering vehicle. Let's just find a good speed. We don't want it to be that fast. All right, tip over. There we go. All right, let's test it out. So forward. Oh yeah, I forgot. These also have to all be or gates. Otherwise they are not going to trigger. All right, so now we should be able to go forward. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working at all for some reason. Oh, <laughs> so stupid. This isn't creative mode. <laughs> <laughs> they need power. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hook up the battery container <laughs> to the electric engines and uh, let's get some batteries. <laughs> All right, there we go. That should be enough batteries. And let's take care of this while we're at it. This is just an extra container that we don't need right now. We'll put the excess fuel in there. Okay, now that we actually have power to the electric vehicle, which is crucial for them to work, we should be able to go forward, backwards, left, and right. And then number five is to lift that. Number six is to turn it on. All right, so now we just need a better speed. All right, so I think this is probably an appropriate speed for mining. So let's stick with this. I like it. I wonder how much this is going to be on um, consumption because they're, they're not like... There's only two bearings hooked up to each engine and they're not all being triggered at the same time. So they shouldn't all be like sucking the energy all at once. 
as if there were actually four electric engines being used. They're all being used in their own way. So what does it take to make a battery? I forget. Glow is the big thing for batteries. I do not have any glow bugs on me. And it's gonna be difficult to carry glow bugs on me because of how they deal with moving objects. But the sun's coming up. So now it's time to test. Let's see if this is actually easier to mine than it was with um, gas engine. Here we go. The good thing, the really, really good thing about the electric engines actually that I almost forgot to mention is that they stop when you're not using them. Whereas the, the gas engine, did I say gas engine before? I forget, I don't remember what I said before. But the really good thing about them is that they hold you in place, whereas the gas engines would always be, they would allow you to roll if you're in the seat. And so far, this are, it feels so much easier just to stay lined up on these things. Yeah, guys, this is, this is way easier. I think tank steering, electric is the way to go for mining vehicles. Look at this, look how easy it is just for me to stay right where I wanna stay. Whereas normally with the gas engine, I would be sliding down, but my wheels don't roll anymore. And being able to turn in place is so convenient. I don't have to back up and do like the eight point turns anymore. This was so worth it. I should have kept track of um, how many uh, batteries I had when I started this. Ho oh, ho look at that. Yeah, this was a bigger node, I think, as well. And it feels like we're doing it faster than we did that slightly smaller node. All right, you know what? I actually, I forgot to put my vehicle on a lift, too. This is performing surprisingly well, considering that I don't have optimal frames. I didn't even put my, the hang tank on a lift. That's crazy. But look at that. Now we are done just like that so we're gonna take on this thing as well now that we have our new optimized mining vehicle here uh we can definitely test out there were like there was like one row left after i finished the other mining nodes so if there's more that or if there's less than one row if this fills up then that means that there was way more stone here am i already full yep there was w whoa there was way more stone here than over there and we did it like just as fast so if that doesn't prove the point that uh, electric is superior to gas, then I don't know what does. Yeah, look at that. That's almost another full one. That is twice as much, nearly twice as much resources from that one than the other one. And I thought they were almost similar. All right, well, those two resource collectors are doing their thing. How many batteries we have left? We, we hardly used any batteries too. Let's go ahead and take on this right here. We're gonna do another mining montage. Here we go.
Okay, I think I am all done. What time is it? That took like 12 minutes. And let's take a look at the damage as far as energy goes, because I think we had 15 batteries in the last slot before we started this. And now we have, they used 10 batteries total. That is not bad at all. 10 batteries to get all of this. Like this is the fastest I have ever mined by, oh, I missed a piece. Hold on, there's one piece that was missing. This is the fastest I have ever mined by far. Like, the, like look at this, look under here. These are still both full. Like, well, this one's not full, but like this isn't even done. I've been filling these things up way, way faster than my refiner can possibly even think to catch up. Um, so I'm going to be here for a while just collecting this stuff, but I think the question has been answered. Uh, gas versus electric tank steering for a mining vehicle overwhelmingly electric has every single advantage other than the fact that batteries are a little bit harder to come by like you can't beat an oil pond as far as fuel goes but if we could more easily keep glow bugs on a moving vehicle i might actually try that i might just see what happens let's get some glow bugs in another episode uh make a tiny little glow bug farm maybe four glow bugs and then drive around and just see do they do they survive I don't know. Let's find out. I think that's going to be a good side quest. But this experiment was actually really, really useful for me. I'm really happy that I did it because I wish I did this sooner. I wasted so much time mining that could have gone so much faster if I just decided to take advantage of the batteries I had. Well, actually, you know what? Back then, even back then, it was still taking a lot to make these electric engines. It is very costly for electric engines. That is one downside. If you want real easy tank steering, then uh, you do need four electric engines. And the way that I hooked this up, in case you were wondering, I have buttons one, two, three, and four set up to T, G, F, and H. So it's basically just like WASD, but just button controlled. Um, and I got some paint on me, so I might as well paint this up. All right, and with the sun coming up, I'm gonna leave the boring stuff of picking up all these rods to uh, off camera. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any other ideas for side quests as well. I think Glowbug Farm will be an interesting one. I kind of feel like it's not gonna work out well, but it's something that we I want to know. We, we should find out. Is it for the nomad lifestyle or not? So you can look forward to that coming up, but leave comments if you have any other stuff down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find right here on the end screen. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.